Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. Today we're going to look at database programming using add tables and editing or updating our records in our database. Grade 12, so you can expect this question as part of question 2.2 in your final examinations and grade 11, so you will complete this section at some point in the year. Now before we continue with edit, there's one thing that you need to keep in mind. If you are going to make a change to your foreign key, it's important that you change it to a value that exists in the teacher table. And also if you are going to change the primary key is that it stays a unique value for each record. So you could be asked to simply make a change to the active record. That is where you see this triangle in your DB grid. Therefore, there's no need to search for anything because it's just where this little pointer is pointing to in your DB grid. You're going to make a change to that record. So it's very similar to the insert. For insert, we said tblearner.insert, but now we're just going to replace the insert with an edit. And then we have to make sure that we end off with a dot post. So start with the name of your table, your add table component, followed by an edit. And in here, you can make changes to only one field or to more than one field. And the code here looks the same as in our insert. So here we can use variables or we can also, for example, add 10 to an existing value in a field. So we want to add 10 to a mark. So we take what the mark is at the moment and then we can add a value to it. So we can also search for a specific record and make a change to only that one record. And the code here at the top is very similar as to what we've done before when we were looking for a specific learner, John in grade 10, and making the loop stop once we find that person because we only want to make a change to the one record. So we'll start with our bfind as false. We have our dot first and while not end of the table, and then our next just before the end of the while. And in here we have our if statement to test if the person's name is, for example, John in grade 10. And if that is true, then we set B find to true, which will make your loop stop due to the second condition in your while loop. And then we have on the inside of the if statement, the edit and dot post with the change that we had to make to that learner's record. But it is also possible to make a change to multiple records, still using my loop, but you will see this time I don't have B find, the bfind condition because I don't want my loop to stop because I will find many grade 11. So let's say there was a mistake overall, everyone's getting 10 marks extra for grade 11s. I have my loop here with the dot first, the while not end of table. Very important, remember your dot next goes outside of your if statement. And then on the inside of my if statement, I then have my edit, my change to my record, to whichever fields I want to make a change to. And still on the inside of the if, I have my dot post. This is again your time to practice, so make sure that you have the Dandelion Delphi files. If you have downloaded them before, we're just going to continue in the ebooks program. Inside of the add tables folder, you will find the ebooks folder where you can practice this activity. So try the menu change active. So we're going to make a change to the active record. And remember the wording dialog box refer to an input box in an exam. Press pause, try it yourself and I'll show you the memo. So here is my input box getting input from the user for the amount paid. And I have my edit and my post and in between these are the fields that we're going to make changes to. So the register class we were asked to just hard code it as A, make sure that you put inverted commas around the A. And then the question said that the teacher ID must be equal to the last teacher in the table TBL teacher and that the number of records and the ID number of the teachers correspond. So we could use just dot record count. It would also be possible to have a tbl teacher dot last and then assign that 
teacher ID field to the username's teacher ID field. This here is our foreign key. So we have to make sure that it's getting a value from an existing field or value in the table TBL teacher. And then the Wi-Fi was set to true. I can assign it to true using quotes like that. Or I can omit the quotes to have a true value there. And then you will see that the amount paid is increased by the amount the user entered. So they've already paid, let's say, 100 Rand. But now they have paid 50 more. So that is why I'm adding to the current amount. I'm adding our amount that they entered. And then I just end off with my dot post to make those changes to my database. This question did not ask you to search for a user. It said make a change to the active record. So there's no need here to search. We just simply start with our edit. Just before we continue, the next question is asking you to click on some buttons to ask the user if they are sure they want to make some changes. So if you haven't done the SQL section, you will find the explanation of message dialog boxes in my books under SQL. So we can use them anywhere in our programs, but here is just an explanation again of how to use them. Message dialog boxes can be called as procedures where they just stand on their own, but we can also use them in an if statement. So I can say if the message dialog box, and then the first argument here, that is the wording that will appear here on the message dialog box. Then a comma, then I put the empty warning or empty information. Now this empty means message type and that is what determines the message at the top here as well as the icon that will be placed on this message dialog box. Then a comma and my third argument here goes in square brackets. And this is what determines the buttons that appear on this message dialog box. So MB stands for message button. And I'm going to have a yes in this example and a no button. And that is how these two buttons appear on the message dialog box. And then you can just put a comma zero there at the end as it needs that fourth argument. Now, if I use this in an if statement, and I say equals to M or yes. That means message response. Yes. So that means that if they clicked on the yes button, then I want to do the following. I can also put the M or no. But the, this response here will need to match with one of the buttons that you have placed on the message dialog box. So if the person clicks on the yes button, then continue with the code that follows your if statement. Go to the menu change teacher, try it yourself, press pause and I will show you the memo as soon as you're done. So here I'm using the input box to get input from the user for this user's surname and I always just put a default value there as per the screenshot of the example of output in the paper as it speeds up my processing of my program. So I'm putting in Murphy here I'm using a Boolean variable set to false to make my loop stop when I find this user. So I will continue to loop while bfind is false. And then I have my usual dot first while not end of the table. Very important that you have your dot next just before the end of your while. My if statement here is looking for the grade 11 learner with this surname. And if I find it, I'm going to set bfind to true. Then I follow that with my message dialog box in an if statement to ask if the person wants to make a change to this user. Now, since I have found in our example Murphy, if I display TBL username names, I'll be displaying the name of Murphy because currently, while I'm looping, Murphy is the current active record. I've used empty error and then yes or no. The empty error, you could also use empty information or empty warning as the question did not specify which one you needed to use. And if their response is yes, so they've clicked on the yes button, so I'm testing here if it's equal to M or yes, then I'm going to start editing. 
There's my edit and there's my post. And I'm only making a change this time to the foreign key, which is the TBL usernames teacher ID field. And I'm setting that to the active record of TBL teacher, making use of their ID field there. And then I've just added here at the bottom that if I did not find this person in my while loop, then I will display a message displaying the input from the user back to them and say, I have not found this person. Here's the last menu that you can practice for edit. So press pause and I'll show you the memo soon. I will have to loop through the table since I want to make a change to all the records. So I have my tbl username dot first, well not end of the table, and my dot next. And on the inside here, I start with my edit and end with my post. And I was asked to change the grade. So everyone has passed this year. It's been a wonderful year. So we are going to take the grade, the existing grade, and add one. At this point now, all the grade 11s would be grade 12s, grade 10s will be 11s, and we will have no grade 8s. And all our grade 12s would have been changed to grade 13 since they're still inside of my database. But at some point in the next lesson, we'll delete those learners. And I was asked to then add a random amount to the amount field of what they have paid. So I'm using random range, a value from 0 to 650. Remember, random range excludes that second number. And that was it. Thank you, everyone, for watching Dandelion Delphi tutorials. There are more activities and explanations in the Dandelion Delphi Book 2, where I explain database programming using addo tables. Hope to see you soon.